That looks pretty awesome, huh? Don't you want to be like the people in these stock images? You're out here every day, grinding, getting it done. You're just killing it. But are you pro? I bet you want to be. So today, let's break down how to go pro. Number one is image. I bet you're the coolest dude in your three to four friend group. I bet you post the best gifts in your group chats, but do you look like it? A lot of people get it misconstrued. Sure, you can have talent and ambition, but do you look like it? It's simple. It's all in the clothes that you wear. If you wear cargo shorts, we're all oblivious to your mere existence. But if you're wearing an extra long t-shirt and Ray-Bans and side, that's a fit that says, I don't care what people think about me. Number two is flexing on the gram. How many followers do you have on your Instagram? Instagram followers are the new bachelor's degree. What you want to do is you want to post pictures humbly flexing in front of your material possessions and assets. It follows a simple formula. Post a picture of you doing normal people stuff, but in the background you'll have like a jet or a G-Wagon. So the people will see your picture and they'll say, Whoa! He or she is just cooking breakfast in front of their football stadium and private jet. Number three, abandon all your friends and relatives and bring on a new entourage of friends that will agree with you in every situation. You see, psychologists at a university in a publication in 2011 found that one of the main things that keep people from succeeding is mild disagreements in day-to-day -day conversation. You see, right in the frontal lobe of the brain, there's a very small slice of brain that is dedicated to going pro and reaching your full potential. But most people who spend time all day arguing over small day-to-day -day subject matters, such as, are sweet potatoes good? are shortcutting a dopamine flow that typically goes through that area of the brain. Most people lose this layer of the brain once they hit 40 years old or they buy a gas-efficient economy car. Number four, talking down to those less fortunate than you. No one will ever see you as an expert or professional if they see themselves on the same level as you. Your neighbor John, who manages a Subway franchise restaurant and drives a 2003 Camry, won't think you're shit either if you treat him with a general human decency and mutual respect. You gotta tell him, Nice to see you. Sorry I can't come to your barbecue with your ugly children because, well, I have a reputation to protect. I can't spend my time with the peasants of lower middle class. John will admire you, look up to you, and his wife will yell your name while they have intercourse. Thank you. You will become the glimmer of light in their world. You see, the world up is made up of the main story which is centered around people who have went pro. Then you have all your background characters playing roles in the story. They are the foundation. Think about the pyramids in Egypt. No one gives a shit about the first few levels. No tourist walks up the first level and goes, wow, that was amazing. You gotta get to the top, cause that's where the pros are.